Hello everyone, and welcome to my The Young and the Restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The Young and the Restless spoilers for Tuesday, March 12 indicate that Chance Chancellor will cuddle up in bed with Summer Newman for a while, but that he will receive a text from Billy Abbott asking for an early meeting. Summer will call Chance, thinking that they may take a shower together, but Chance will speak with Billy on the phone and find out he's at society. Chance will consider it for a bit before deciding to keep Billy waiting so he may spend some steamy, enjoyable time in the shower with Summer. Billy finds a groggy Phyllis at society, sipping a Bloody Mary and sporting sunglasses. Billy will make an effort to lift Phyllis's spirits, but she will pretend that he is unnecessary and will work to get rid of him. Phyllis will notice when Summer and Chance arrive at the same time and question her daughter about what appears to be a sleepover. Summer will admit that she's enjoying herself with Chance, but she'll have suspicions about Phyllis's own romantic life. Phyllis will acknowledge that her relationship with Danny Romolotti didn't work out, so given his past with Christine Blair, Summer won't be shocked. Phyllis will be offended by that since she will believe that not even her own daughter loves her. When Chance returns, he will update everyone on what transpired at Chancellor Winters during Billy's absence. Billy will act like it's wonderful news because it implies he's exerting pressure while Chance admits the others seemed relieved. Chance, though, is going to be suspicious of Billy's motivations and whether or not he is being used as a spy. Billy will insist that Chance stay with him if he wants a spot at Chancellor Winters, arguing that he's acting in Jill Abbott's, Jess Walton, best interests. Adam Newman will discuss Victor Newman's disappearance with Nick Newman, Joshua Morrow, at Newman Enterprises, but they will both be called to the ranch for a family gathering thereafter. After taking care of something, Nick will receive another message containing hints about some updates he has been waiting for. As a result, he will schedule a meeting with Adam and the others. Michael Baldwin will be asked a lot of questions about Victor at the ranch. Adam, Claire Grace, Cole Howard, Nikki Newman and Victoria Newman will all be worried. Adam will act skeptical of Claire and act as though she was part of the scheme once he learns that Victor met with Jordan. After all that happened at the lake house, Adam won't like that everyone has been so willing to believe Claire. Claire will maintain that she didn't even know about the Jordan meeting until Nikki informed her, and that she just gave Victor the information he requested. Claire will feel that Victoria was correct about Adam because he will be so accusatory, and she will complain about how unwelcoming he has been in comparison to the rest of the family. At some point, Michael would tell Jordan about Victor's most recent proposal and how he turned himself up as a hostage so that she could make her getaway. The Newmans will be a little alarmed by that, but Michael will encourage them to have faith in Victor because he has another surprise in store for Jordan. Jordan will point out the shortcomings in Victor's strategy while holding him at gunpoint in a car. It will become evident that Jordan was only following orders in order to corner Victor by herself without the need for goons. Jordan will then take Victor to a filthy, abandoned spot on Tuesday's episode of Why and All with the intention of leaving him to rot in that decrepit hole. Nick will sneak up on Jordan while she's gloating over her win and use a taser on her. Jordan will be momentarily unconscious due to the shock and upon awakening, she will discover that Victor used a tracker to notify Nick of their whereabouts. Jordan will know she's fallen into Victor's trap since Nick will be carrying her weapon. You should never undervalue me, Victor would say, glaring at Jordan. There will be more Jordan drama, according to spoilers for The Young and the Restless, so check into the CBS serial opera. Spoilers for Tuesday, March 12, 2024's episode of The Young and the Restless indicate that Nick Newman takes a risk. Victoria Newman steps up to support Claire Grace. Highlights of The Young and the Restless spoilers. Jordan turns down Victor Newman's offer and slithers off. Victor then reveals his new strategy for exacting revenge on Jordan. Highlights of The Young and the Restless spoilers. The million-dollar failure of Victor Newman. Tuesday, 
March 12 Y and R teasers indicate that Victor's attempt to reimburse Jordan was unsuccessful. Michael Baldwin was included by Victor in the plan to meet Jordan. Michael assisted in setting up the multi-million dollar offer and was aware of it, but he didn't anticipate having a pistol pressed against him. Why and R spoilers, Jordan's slee victory. It's obvious that the plan fails. Victor is unaware that not everyone is concerned with money. Even though it defies common sense, there are instances when fairness or having the other person feel what you do matter more than anything else. Highlights of the young and the restless spoilers. A new attack strategy. Tuesday, March 12 spoilers for the young and the restless indicate that Victor will devise a fresh strategy for assault. What then is Victor going to do? Will Victor ultimately use Claire as a lure? Maybe it's not just a phone call this time. If Victor were to use Claire as live, in-person bait for Jordan, it may seriously endanger Claire's life. Spoilers for Tuesday, March 12 of Y and R. Fans should expect Victoria to defend Claire on Tuesday, March 12. Maybe some will hold Claire responsible for Jordan's continued threat to Nikki Newman. Of course, Claire could choose to go rogue in order to definitively demonstrate her atonement. In relation to the Newman family, it's hinted that Nick takes a risk. This happens after Nick turned down Phyllis Summers, Michelle Stafford, who was intoxicated. Is Nick's audacious move motivated by romance, or is it more likely related to Jordan? The Oregon Lake House is the only significant aspect of this story that Nick has been involved in, Maybe Nick is the one going rogue because he ought to be involved in this more. On Tuesday, March 12, which storyline are you most excited to see? Regarding Phyllis, Nick, Nikki, and Victor, what predictions do you have? What lies ahead for Claire, Victoria, Jordan, and the other Geno City citizens? Has Nick changed or did he revert to his previous behaviors with Phyllis? The Young and the Restless, March 11, 2024 episode featured Phyllis and her ex-husband Nick in a suite at the Geno City Athletic Club, following Phyllis' rejection by Danny. We already know what we anticipated would happen. These two would get into a relationship and then spend time playing video games. But instead, we were astonished by something. The direction of the whole event was evident to us. Nick and Phyllis were at the jazz club's bar together when Phyllis got drunk. Phyllis began sharing her tale of misery and lamented the failure of her attempts to change. It was the perfect storm for a hookup between Phyllis and Nick. Unsurprisingly, they found themselves upstairs, perhaps in search of some junk food from room service. In an attempt to cheer herself up, Phyllis made a last-ditch attempt to kiss Nick after Danny firmly chose Christine over her. We reasoned that it wasn't that shocking to see where things were going because Nick and Phyllis go through this kind of stuff every few years. Rather than settling for what was comfortable and familiar, Nick applied the brakes. Intoxicated, Phyllis refrained from sharing his bed with him. Nick told his child's mother and his ex-wife politely but firmly that he wasn't going to be her booty caller. Rather, he emphasized that they could always rely on one another as friends. It was undoubtedly evidence of Nick's development. It also offered us a glimmer of hope that Phyllis could indeed be capable of changing. It goes without saying that Phyllis will encounter obstacles as she transforms. Is it possible that she is still seeking atonement? We're not holding our breath, though, so maybe. Naturally, we are holding our breath in hopes that Nick and Sharon will reunite. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.